So you can spread out. Come into a symmetrical, relaxed position. <sighs> and either close your eyes or take a soft gaze. Begin to slow down your breath. And with each exhale, you can just invite letting go. Whatever is not needed here now, whether that's physical, resistance, tension, extra holding, any mental stress. You don't have to even know what it is, just letting go what's not needed. You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus, and feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you. And let's spread arms overhead, stretch out through arms and legs, fingers and toes, get as long as you can. Interlace your fingers, press out through your palms, flex your feet, reaching through the heels of your hands, the heels of your feet. Hmm. And then release, bring your right knee to your chest. Give that knee a good squeeze in, maybe a little jiggle, releasing deep into your hip crease. Holding behind your leg, let's flex and straighten up and then point and bend back in. We'll go back and forth. Flex and straighten, point and bend. Flex and straighten, point and bend. And then flex and straighten, hold it up there. Circle your ankle, A couple big circles. Both directions. Bend your knee back in. Open your knee out to the right and then flex and straighten out to the side. Point as you bend back in. Flex and straighten. Point and bend. And then flex and straighten, hold your leg out there. You might adjust where you're holding so it works for your body. <sighs> Release, bend your knee, bring it across. Spinal twist. Open out through your right arm. Let your knee and shoulder reach away from one another. And then staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal, fingers and toes reaching away from one another. And then roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in and take a circle or rock with your knees, massaging the lower back and sacrum into the floor. Grab hold of just the left knee, drop the right leg long, 
Squeeze the left knee in close, close as you can. Straighten the left leg up, holding somewhere behind your leg, and then point and bend. Flex and straighten, point and bend. Flex and straighten, point and bend, and then flex and straighten. Hold the leg up there, circle your ankle. Go as slow as you need to so you're following the sensation, feeling all the little changes as you move both directions. Bend your knee back in, open your knee out to the left, flex and straighten, point and bend, flex and straighten, point and bend, and then flex and straighten, hold it out there, grounding down through the back of the right leg. <sighs> Bend your knee and guide it across. Spinal twist. First with a bent knee, feeling this. And then staying in your twist, try straightening. Left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. And roll back onto your back, bring both knees in. Circle or rock your knees. <sighs> Evening out your torso, releasing the lower back. And then drop your feet to the floor, getting set up for some core work. Draw the belly in, press it down strongly. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Exhale, lift, head and chest up. Inhale, release down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Two more. Last one, release down, send your right leg up. Exhale, head up towards your leg. Inhale, head down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Last one on this side. Switch, left leg high, exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. Up and down. Up and down. One more. Switch again, right leg high. This time, take your left arm across. Each time you exhale, reach a little further across. Keep the belly drawing in strongly. See if you can relax your face. One more like this. And then switch. Left leg high, right arm across. One more. 
release, send both legs up. Outwardly rotate the legs, bring one leg in front of the other, and then switch, and then keep switching as quickly as you can. Slowly lower your legs towards the floor. When it gets difficult to keep the lower back on the floor, you can head back up. Quick little switches, straight strong legs. Belly drawing in the whole time. And can you find ease in your face, neck, shoulders, breathing? One more, lower and lift. Release, bring your knees in, let that go. Make your way up to sitting and let's come on to hands and knees. If you would like to pad your knees and you have something, you're welcome to put a blanket or cushion under there. Hands right under shoulders. Fingers spread wide. Start from a flat back, connecting head, tailbone, belly drawing in. And then we'll take a few rolls through the spine, lifting head and tailbone, arching round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now inhale, arch, and send the right leg back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, dip down. Elbows hug the sides of the body. Press up. Knee in. Extend. Go forward to dip down. If going all the way down is too much, just do what you can. Maybe it's one or two inches. Push up from there. Around. Arch. Go forward to dip down. Keeping proper alignment rather than going further. Press up. Knee in. And then extend. And roll the hip open, reaching toes to the side wall. You can stay on two hands, pushing away from the floor, or opposite hand, left hand reaches back for your foot. Kick your foot into your hand. Pull up, away from the supporting arms. You're lifted, not collapsing in the joints. And then gently release, arm forward, leg back. Square off shoulders and hips. Draw the belly in. Release, hands and knees. Sink back to child's pose and maybe give that right wrist a little rub or circle. <sighs> Let's lift up through table. Lifting head and tail, arching. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now inhale, arch, and send the left leg back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift forward to dip down. Press up, knee in, extend, dip down, press up, knee in, extend. One more time, dip down, press up, knee in, extend, and then roll the hip open. can stay on two hands or Opposite hand, right hand reaches back for your foot. Kick your foot into your hand, pull up. Sometimes it can be useful to do the opposite, kind of collapse into the joints and then pull up, see what the options are. Extend. 
extend, arm forward, leg back, square off shoulders and hips, lift the, the belly, lift the whole spine up. Release, hands and knees, sink back. Ah, maybe give that left wrist a little rub or circle. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. Back to center. And just a reminder, you can come back here as needed. Rest whenever that's useful. The rest is sometimes as important as the effort. When you're ready, come up to down dog. Feeling how you move, how you adjust into the pose. There might be some movement that helps you get in your body, pedaling out the feet or shifting hips side to side. When you're ready, walk your hands and feet towards one another and hang in ragdoll. And again, you can adjust each pose so that it works for you. Do you want to bend your knees a little or a lot? What kind of arm position would best support you here? Keep coming back to your breath, using the breath as a tool, bringing space and opening as you inhale, release and grounding as you exhale. Let's bend the knees a little more and slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. Let's come into Mountain Pose, Tadasana. Feet can be together or apart. Strong core, tall spine, shoulders down. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra, maybe take an extra breath or two in this first back bend. How is this? As tempting as it may be to go on autopilot, our bodies really are different each time we get on our mats. How is this now? 
Come back to down dog when you're ready and let's take five breaths and a good resting pose. So that could be down dog, but it could just as well be child's pose or sitting or on your forearms or knees. One more deep breath in and out. Come through down dog, step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up, bend your knee in. Start circling this bent right knee in the biggest circle you can make, exploring your full range of motion. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Bring it right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up, hips low. Let's grab the left wrist. Take it over for a little side bend. Tuck the tailbone, looking for an opening at the front of the left hip. Same thing other side, grab your right wrist, take it over. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the heart, hips low, chest high. Arms up, tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square and with the upper body letting go. Last breath. Step back, warrior one. Continuing to outwardly rotate the arms, dropping the shoulders lower and lower, continually reaching the arms higher, fingers lengthening up. Last breath here, release. Hands to the floor or to a couple blocks for pyramid pose. You can straighten the front leg part way or all the way. Feel free to adjust the distance between your legs. How high up you come on your blocks. Listening inside. What are you feeling? What are you noticing here? Let's make our way back to down dog, however you want to get there. Just feel what you're doing. Up dog or cobra, back to down dog. And again, feel free to skip things, change things, add your own things. The transitions are a time for you. 
From down dog, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in and start circling. Can you make the circle just a little bit bigger? What's beyond, what's comfortable and familiar? Right at your edge. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, send it a little higher, and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across. Up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up. Sink low, grab your right wrist, take it over. Same thing, other side. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back, other thumb on top. Arms up, tip forward, standing splits. Keep reaching that back leg longer, letting go through the upper body more. Last breath, step back, warrior one. One more breath here, release, pyramid pose. Make whatever adjustments feel right for you. Work with what you already understand and know about your body. Listening to the real-time feedback you're getting. And adjusting the outer shape as needed. You can always go deeper. You can always back out a little bit. <sighs> Let's release. Make your way back to a good resting pose. Any movement, transition. Any neutral shape. You might close your eyes. Last breath here. Come back through down dog. Step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling flat back. Exhale fold. Inhale up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. 
Let's bend the knees. <clears throat> Come into chair, Utkatasana. Hips low, head high, shoulders low, fingers high. Last breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, one breath. <coughs> Step forward, high lunge. <coughs> Arms up, warrior three, shift forward. And find your balance, adjusting so this works for you. You can bend your supporting leg a little or a lot. And keep your torso as high as you need to so that it forms a straight line with your back leg. From here, let's rise up to standing. Bring that left knee to your chest. The right arm can be out to the side or at your hip. You can stay holding your knee or grab your big toe with the first two finger and thumb. Extending part way or all the way straight. Standing tall. Release, step back, high lunge, arms up. Release through your movement transition. Just one thing at a time, feeling where you are now, that's enough. Left leg sweeps up, next inhale. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Finding the outer shape that feels appropriate given what you understand and are able to do now. And then within that outer shape, how much can you open up to it? Your face be relaxed, your breath steady. Last breath here. Rise up to standing. You can bring your right knee to your chest. Left arm can be out or at the hip. You can stay holding the knee or grab your big toe. Extending whatever amount straight works for you. Standing tall. Last breath here. Release. Step back, high lunge. Release through your movement transition. Back to your rest. Returning to ease. Last deep breath in and out. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale, chair. Exhale, straighten. Again, inhale, chair. From here, let's take a twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. As far as you can. Open up through that top shoulder. Maybe bring hands together, working prayer twist. Now see if you can unweight your left foot. Either lift it or just take the weight out of it. So a little balance here, a lot going on. 
take a big step back, twisting high lunge. If you need to adjust your legs or your arms, take your time. And then extend the arm straight, either on the outside or inside of that front leg. Take a little rock front to back and then windmill up and open. Mm, warrior two. Take your time adjusting, finding your alignment. Flip the right palm to face the ceiling. Reverse warrior two. Let's straighten the front leg, triangle. Expanding past the fingers, past the top of the head, long lines. Last breath here. Release hands to the floor. Let's square off for pyramid. You might take a little step in with that back foot. Draw the right hip back and then we'll set up for revolve triangle. Left hand can either come to your foot, your ankle, the floor on the inside or outside or a block on the inside or outside. So finding what variation of this feels right for you. Right hand might start at your lower back, feeling are your hips square? Maybe draw that right hip back a little bit. And then when you're ready, right arm extends, going towards a straight long line. One more breath here. Release, make your way. Back to down dog. Just take a moment in down dog. And step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling flat back. Exhale fold. Bend your knees, arms up, chair. Take the whole thing on the other side. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Take your time getting it over there, working palms towards the center of the chest, lengthening your spine. And then see if you can unweight the right foot. You might even keep it on the floor, but just take the weight out of it. Gaze down will be more stable if you are feeling wobbly. Step back, twisting lunge. And again, feel free to adjust. You might take both hands down for a moment, finding your way. We'll extend arms straight, either on the outside or inside of that front leg. Take a little rock front to back, and then windmill up and around, warrior two. Flip the left palm, reverse warrior two, big, reaching yawn. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Try not to collapse into the bottom arm. Again, you might do that to see where you're doing it and then don't do it. <laughs> Pull up away. One more breath here. Release both hands to the floor or to your blocks. Square off the hips. Pyramid. So you might take a little step in with that back foot. Find your footing. 
right hand either on the foot, the ankle, a block, or the floor. Left hand might start at the sacrum or on that left hip, drawing it back. And then when you're ready, left arm extends high. And just take in what you can take in. Some of these poses are overwhelming on purpose. And then we get to find our way to center from overwhelm. How do you do that? Last breath. Release, make your way back to a good rest. Any movement transition. Any neutral shape, letting go. Let's make our way to a kneeling position for camel. <clears throat> if you would like to pad your knees, you might roll up the front of your mat or use a blanket or cushion. And try and find neutral pelvis. For a lot of us, that's going to include a little bit of a dropping of the tailbone. Hands can be at the top of the buttocks. Roll your shoulders back. Roll your elbows back and then lift the chest away from the hips. Try and put space in the lower back. You're welcome to stay right here or you can reach back for the heels. If the heels are too far, tucking your toes will give you a couple of inches. You might try it again. If it's still too far, stay with hands on the buttocks or you could try blocks. Head can be forward the whole time or up or dropping back. Keep lifting the chest away from the floor. Release. Let's take child's pose and if it feels good for you, you could take rabbit, grabbing the heels, pulling against them as you round your back. make our way to sitting, however you want to get there. Extend the legs forward, flesh of the sit bones back. Feel free to sit up on something if that's useful. And then use your hands to help you fold, whether that's on the floor or the feet or something around the feet. How curious can you be? Release, bring the upper body back up. Let's take soles of the feet together. Grab your toes or ankles with that grip. Lengthen and fold. Elbows might push against the legs, helping them open. Or if it works better, use some support in another way. Rather than there being any one way to do any of this, we are each using these poses as tools to bring greater health and well-being in whatever ways that's possible, and to bring more acceptance and tolerance and maybe even love for a variety of experiences. Let's 
Let's bring the upper body back up. We'll keep the right leg more or less where it is. Open the left leg out to the side. Right arm up and over, side bend, gate pose, parigasana. Can you keep dropping your shoulders, looking for space in the neck? And then let your head fall towards the floor. Take the top arm out and down until your shoulder pulls down. Stretching right side of the neck. Keep your head hanging and relaxed. Push into the bottom hand to come up. Use that hand to help lift your head. Let's switch the legs. Left arm up and over. your head fall towards the floor, top arm out and down, pull down through that top shoulder, stretching, left side of the neck. Mm. Keep your head hanging and relax, press into the bottom hand, come up, use that hand to lift your head. Open both legs wide. Use your hands where they're going to best support you. You might try behind you. You might try in front of you. You might try leaning into something. Whatever we've each been taught is the tip of the iceberg. It's the very beginning. And then what we might learn on our own through trial and error is endlessly subtle and probably always changing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 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 release. If you had folded, make your way back up. We'll lean back, draw the legs in, shake that out. Mm. Let's come back onto our backs. We are getting to the end of our practice. And so you might just See about asking the question, what do I need? What do I want? What would feel good for me now? And you may or may not get a clear answer to that, and it's okay either way. <laughs> you're not sure what to do, but you know you need something, my suggestion is a spinal twist. That's often a great way to wrap things up. Happy baby is also a, a good one. And nothing is needed. 
We've had a nice full practice. So if you're ready to come into your final resting pose now, you can start getting comfortable. And if you did get some information, part of your body, a pose, something that would feel good for you, try that. Whenever you are done with your active practice, get as comfortable as you can. And we're each also learning how to do that, how to care for ourselves. Is there some kind of prop set up or way you might adjust your body or your clothing so you're more at ease? Letting go as much as you can into these few moments of stillness. And Shavasana is no pressure. We are setting up the conditions that may result in a deep relaxation and that is not guaranteed or necessary. There's nothing you need to make happen or feel bad about not happening or happening. Just letting go into what's here. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Gently waking your body up again. And let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles and then take a big yawning stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And use your hands to help you up to sitting. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.